if anything ever feels transactional, it, it doesn't feel right. Uh, we're not in the business of just taking people's money in exchange for a commodity and coffee. My way of giving is usually through food. Um, I get a ton of gratification and self-value from seeing people happy eating something I created. And I think there's also this really cool communal, tribal connection of a group of people sitting at a table sharing something and phones are put away, there's no television on, there may be some great music, but like that to me is one of the most connective atmospheres people can have. So if you'd have told me 13 years ago I'd be working in the coffee industry, I told you you're crazy. I was, you know, back in the day, drank Mountain Dew in the kitchen to stay awake. That was my like, caffeine experience. Um, but yeah, but I've just completely fallen in love with it. It's again, it's it's hospitality and service focused, uh, but it's also a global industry. So we, as a team, get to travel a ton. Uh, so you know, it's taken me to El Salvador and Colombia and Tokyo and. It's one of those things where, you know, we talk about farm to fork all the time. Our farms just happen to be in Ethiopia. I mean, coffee to me, and we talk about it a lot, it's such an accessible luxury. So, you know, it's one of those things that you can go from a good cup of coffee to an incredible cup of, cup of coffee for $2 more. For wine, you're at $100. Uh, even beer now, you know, good beer to insane beer is you know 10 15 50 dollars whatever it may be so we always talk about this affordable luxury so we one there's the global story and the sustainability and the kind of closing the gap between everything but then there's also this it it can be enjoyed and accessible by everyone you know i think danny meyer is one of the best examples of it of taking something that's at a fine dining level and making it comfortable. Uh, you know, coffee can be incredibly intimidating. We again go back to the wine shop reference of you walk into a wine shop and they make you feel inadequate or ignorant, then you're probably not comfortable making a purchase. Uh, we want to do the same because coffee can be intimidating. You walk in and there's Italian words for a creek name and there's, you know, countries in Africa that you can't pronounce on the coffee bag. Uh, I always go back to the, would my mom feel comfortable with it? So a lot of it is just, it, it's almost on the spot reading the customer. I guess in a sense it's building trust. Uh, okay, I, I, I trust these people, I see them every day, they're part of my morning routine. Let me learn a little bit more about what they do. If anything ever feels transactional, it, it doesn't feel right. Um, we're not in the business of just taking people's money in exchange for a commodity being caught. Um, you know, to the point where I have a number of our close partners, customers that I go hang out with on the weekends. I've traveled with them. They know my kids. They've, I've cooked with them. I've had them to my house. Um, one, there's an, an insane amount of loyalty as a customer when you get to that level. It also just makes the job more fun. You, have, you get to work with people you like. 